Dead Alice Valuations are delighted to welcome you to another article from the experts. In this episode, Senior Valuer and Wristwatch Specialist Alistair Meeklejohn explores the ups and downs of the wristwatch market in 2024. It's April, and whilst the majority of us are looking forward to spring flowers and slightly milder days, a large portion of the country are looking forward to another yearly event, the annual bonus. But if you thought that bargains were available in the post-Christmas sales on luxury watches, you couldn't be further from the truth. Despite the huge increase in production that Rolex, Audemars Piguet and Patek Philippe managed in 2022, there are still waiting lists, still a huge grey market, and in fact a reduction in production of 2% for Patek Philippe and a whopping 10% for Audemars Piguet, whilst Rolex managed to keep a flat level inventory. March 2022 seems a long time ago now. 24 months have passed, and the view of the wristwatch world has changed completely. When the inevitable price drop started to happen in April 2023, many people were surprised, but I think the general consensus was that there was no way prices could rise exponentially in the way they had done for the previous two years. Between March of 2022 and 12 months later, the Bloomberg Watch Index showed a huge drop of £15,000 from around £45,000 to £30,000, which clearly indicated the way in which the market was moving. Looking at the figures from this, however, indicated that those figures were dictated more by six-figure order Piguet and Patek Philippe, watches losing almost 40% of their supposed secondary market, rather than the middle ground of watches in the sub-£100,000 market. Yes, all watches have taken a hit, but not to the degree of the absolute top end. There are many reasons that the realignment of prices happened, not least the crumbling of Bitcoin and the fact that most people had to go back into the office after COVID, the increase in production post-COVID, but also the concern of street crime. The fact that the BBC decided to cover the problem shows just how much of an issue it has become. Right now, things appear to be levelling off though. In fact, the prices of some watches appear to be increasing, with the Rolex Starbucks actually increasing in value by 3.2%, and completely bucking the trend for six-figure watches, the Patek Philippe Nautilus Chronograph seems to be rallying at a 2.8% increase, which even I wouldn't have thought possible. What is great, though, is that the industry hasn't laid back and decided to just ride out the storm. More and more amazing pieces keep coming out, not least the simply stunning Piaget Polo 79 which, to my mind, will be the watch of 2024, and over the summer everyone will be seen wearing it. What is fascinating, though, is that because of this new release, it has had a huge impact on secondary values of other Piaget watches, whereas before a slightly niche jewellery brand, it is becoming the watchword, metaphorically and literally. Aside from the Piaget, other new releases include an interesting collaboration between Victoria Beckham and Breitling, creating a range of chronomat watches that they hope will appeal to a lot of male buyers as well as ladies, which will be a tall order. Farah have released a lovely cushion-shaped compressor-style stainless steel watch, which is as bold as they come, and in my opinion a bit of a bargain as well. And at the other end of the market, the Swatch Cross Blancpain Ocean of the Storm is creating a lot of waves, and if you can find one for 350 quid, I suggest snapping it up. Thank you for listening. You can read this article and many more at darevaluations.co.uk. Search for Dare Dallas to find us on Instagram and LinkedIn, where our team will keep you updated on market trends and our valuation service. For more details on our valuation service, please call us on 01883 722 736 or email inquiries at darevaluations.co.uk.